previous video. Yo. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on, Reinhardt. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! Boss. Explosion. Explosions, explosions, explosions. I love me some explosions. <laughs> It's Fumbles. It was always Fumbles. Boom! How's it going, comrades? This is Wes, aka Dr. Like Fumbles here with another reaction. Guys, we are on episode 3 of ReZero. I'm sorry, not episode 3, episode 4. I don't know why I'm episode behind. We're on episode 4 of ReZero. But guys, before um, we get into the episode, there is a comment I wanted to read. Um, this comment was on my reaction to episode two, um, and I was just asking you guys on um, what I could expect, with no spoilers, what I could expect for the upcoming episodes. I'm probably going to butcher your name, dude. Epper Ogene, Epper Orgene, Epper Ogene <laughs> says, let's just say that each question that gets answered brings with itself more questions, Okay. But so far, things are very logical once you figure out where something came from. Best example in this episode, in each loop before he delayed the half, the I'm sorry. <clears throat> Best example in this episode, in each loop before he delayed the half elf girl, and this time he delayed the assassin lady. Okay, it took me a minute to wrap my head around your com that last part of your comment, but no, I I get it though. Um, I get it now. So basically, in each of the other things, he he always delayed the um the half elf um girl um um amelia that's her name now amelia he always delayed her which is interesting um that's true because 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 every time they ran into each other she'd wind up helping them with other stuff or whatever and you know it, it, i guess it was kind of not, not his fault but the fact that he actually ran into her I guess for time wise, it that's what always it, that's why she always wound up not getting to the cabin sooner. You know, if it weren't for him, he, she would have made it to the cabin sooner. As for the um the assassin, um I think what's the name? Uh, Elsa. I find her name to be completely hilarious since you know like let it go, you know, from Frozen, but whatever. Anyway, Elsa. Um, so this time because he ran, Elsa ran into him, and she got delayed so that is interesting so i wonder that's i wonder if that's going to actually play a bigger part later on like just with him delaying i don't know but it was just it was interesting it was interesting and he, like something about your comment kind of um how you say like answers bring with it more questions but if you use logic to put two and two together you start making sense of things like you were saying with elsa and um amelia being delayed you know when, when they both met with subaru before they got to the end so that is interesting that is interesting so i guess i'm looking forward to being like perplexed and confused <laughs> and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to figure out as the episodes go along <laughs> emperor old gene i'm sorry for mispronouncing your name my guy thank you for your awesome comment all right guys let's get into it what happened last episode guys last episode i saw my favorite character <laughs> he's my favorite character reinhardt is a boss he's a beast he is awesome dude i love her. especially i love when he first enters there and she's like oh draw your sword um well see the thing is my sword it, it can't be drawn right now because like you're not that dangerous of an opponent. I was like, what? <laughs> that, I mean, that's low-key what he said. Like, you know, she was like, wait, are you underestimating me? He's like, no, no, no. It's not that I'm underestimating you. It's just that it's the way it is. My sword has a mind of its own. It doesn't see you as a worthy opponent. But here, look, I'll tell you what. I use this, this little old rickety sword right here. I'll beat you with this. <laughs> and he did. He beat her with that. Bro, And I mean, well, I guess he used some friggin' explosive technique to do it but uh, another thing is that apparently there's something going on with um felt because as soon as he saw that because i guess he was trying to i don't think he knew that felt stole um amelia's insignia 
but when he saw that it was the insignia that she stole, it I guess it freaked him out, I guess, and he was like, he was like oh my gosh, no, that's it, you're under arrest. And now he's saying stuff like, um, you know, it looks like we may not enjoy peace for too much longer or something like that. Like, you know, hey, this may be the last time we can look peacefully about the moon and stuff. So something big is stirring. Hmm. And he was asking Felt about what her family name is and her age and stuff. So apparently Felt's important. She, she, she's important. But um, I know last we also left off, um, Amelia has decided to take Subaru to her place. Subaru, lucky doll. All right, guys. So you know what? Let's dive on into it. Disclaimer: This is not a substitute for the actual show, but rather a reaction. So please support the original creators by watching the show first, then coming back for my reaction. Thank you. Now let's get to it. So he's there. I don't know this ceiling. Oh yeah, she's definitely royalty. The wound in my stomach, it's gone. Oh, what the? All things considered, it must have been Amelia and that healing power she has. Okay. Yo, the hell? Okay, who is she again? Uh, Wait a second. A looping hallway, huh? I bet I can't get out until I find the right room. The typical pattern dictates the first door is likely the goal. Oh. What a profoundly irritating and aggravating man you are, I suppose. The first NPC found! You're gonna ruin your cute little face with that cold attitude of yours. Come on, smile. Smile for me. The only smile appropriate to give you is a derisive sneer. Are you upset because I guessed the right door in the first try? <laughs> but sorry. So, I think uh, what is this her. place, Annie? Betty has had just about enough of you. She, I think it's time to teach you a lesson, I suppose. She talks in first on, person. Well, what are you gonna do to me? Says, I Stay right a lot. there and don't you dare move. <laughs> oh, damn. Anything you'd like to say? How about don't hurt me? Right. <laughs> oh crap, she's not gonna. <laughs> what did you do to me? You drool here, lowly. Oh, nothing much. I only collected the mana from your body, I suppose. By doing so, I've confirmed that you are not an enemy. You little freak, you're not human, are you? I mean, outside of your sparkling personality. Took you long enough to notice, I suppose. Do not measure a proud, noble being such as myself by your standards, human. <laughs> He's back in the bed. I know this ceiling. Oh, he is awakened, sister. Indeed, he's awakened, Rem. I should probably go to sleep a second time. Okay. No, wait a sec. I woke up earlier, so that would make this the third. My, what a deadbeat thing to say. Did you hear that, sister? Truly the words of a loser. I heard him, Rem. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Truly the words of a loser. voices that keep criticizing me in stereo! <laughs> oh? No way! Short skirted maid costumes exist in this world too? <laughs> listen to this, Miss Amelia. Without provocation, my dear sister was just violated by that man. Please listen to this, Miss Amelia. Rem was just held prisoner in shame by that man. That's enough, you two. Don't <laughs> tease him so much. <laughs> yes, of course, Miss Amelia. My sister is very sorry. Yes, of course, Miss Amelia. Rem, sorry as well. Tell me, are you feeling all right today? Does anything feel off to you? Huh? Nah. Just a bit groggy from what about sleeping. the chick that so electrified you were the one who saved me, isn't that right, Mealy? Huh? Mealy? Why would you call me that? Uh, it's just a nickname, no big deal. What are you, you know doing? What? My homeland's <laughs> ancient practice of warm-up exercises and calisthenics. You know what I'm just wondering? You should try and do it with me, Mealy. Routine number just two. Now, Bounce briskly on both when feet lady, to loosen up your body. Girl, like, huh? That's weird. Or... Just do whatever I'm doing. I think she should just stick this mana, right? I'll throw the essence of radio into you, okay? <laughs> She's doing it with him. Now, raise both your arms and shout victory! V victory! <laughs> victory! 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 Fuck! Hi Fuck. there, Subaru. Great morning, isn't it? Hey, good morning, Leah. I came really close to losing you back there, didn't I? I'll never be able to thank Subaru enough. I think I should do something for him. Yeah? Okay, let me pet your fur whenever I feel like it. Huh? Is that seriously all you want? For a first-rate fur master such as myself, being able to love on the object of your petting affections anytime you want <laughs> is worth just as much as the troves of a multi-millionaire's riches. Oh man, these ears. 
I'm so in love with how soft and cuddly you are. I know you feel that way since I can kind of read your mind, but I'm amazed you can actually say it. <laughs> it's okay, Leah. Because I can't find any trace of hostility or malice in him at all. It's so cute how you call her Leah, too. It's not half as cute as when you call her Mealy. You really are a strange one, Subaru. I was watching you from upstairs, huh? and you know what? It would appear that you are quite the imbecile, I suppose. I just where do you get off saying that, you lowly? What does that word mean? I've never even heard it before. <laughs> Doctor, a lowly? I think you just made it up. Betty, haven't seen you in four days. Hope you've been doing well and staying ladylike. <laughs> Hello, Betty. Oh. I've been waiting so eagerly for you to come oh, home. Oh, so she Will you stay likes with me today, too, suppose? I am, in fact, the lord of this manor, Roswell El Mathers, so very pleased Bro. to make your acquaintance. Like, Subaru Natsuki, right? He's Hisoka and Hirochimaru. <laughs> and a little bit of Kefka, too, a little bit. You are truly <laughs> a unique young man. You come to the mansion of Margrave Mathers in the kingdom of Lagunica, and you say you don't understand Lagunica. the Lagunica! So what do you mean by that? Is something bad happening in this country? Well, it is not in an agreeable state. Which only makes sense. After all, Lagunica doesn't have a king. Why do you keep saying Lagunica like that? No, don't look so that? alarmed. Lagunica. There's no need to be concerned. Everyone in this country is already quite aware of that circumstance being their reality. Wow, really? Roughly around the same time the king went into hiding, an epidemic began to spread throughout the castle. An the epidemic. king and his children are the last of his line. At this moment, the nation is being managed by a council of wise men, and that council is currently in the process of selecting a new king. Okay, okay. I think I'm starting to get the picture now. <laughs> the way he talks. On top of the king's absence, the royal selection is causing confusion <laughs> in the kingdom. Every so other word. Appear from another country. <laughs> Wait, I'm totally suspect here! And on top of that, you made contact with Miss Amelia, thus initiating a direct connection to my household. Ah, uh, the dilemma. Mm -hmm. Hey, hold on a second. Why would the Lord of the Mansion call her Miss Amelia? I'm not sure how things are where you're from, but here we address those with higher status respectfully. Uh, higher status? Uh, that would mean Mealy here is, uh... Officially, my current title is Candidate for the 42nd Ruler of the Kingdom of Lagunica. Holy... With the backing of the Honorable Lord Margrave Roswell. What?! Sorry to surprise so you like that. I wasn't trying to, to keep it a secret or anything. Hey, it's that insignia. So that's what that this is? This qualifies one to be a candidate for king. It's a ceremonial touchstone that's used to determine if one is worthy to sit at the throne and lead this country as a monarch. Wait a second, are you saying you lost an insignia that qualifies you to rule the kingdom? Now don't put it like that, I didn't lose it, it was stolen from me by a thief! That's the same thing! And what happens <laughs> if you manage to lose that thing anyway? Will a government office issue another one? Okay, I'm sorry I had to pause it, just for a second, it's just because it got me thinking a little bit about when um Reinhardt freaked out on Felt when he saw uh when he saw it saw it in Felt's hand. Okay, so so he t the 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 the, the Maru <laughs> Hisoka guy, what's his name? <laughs> he basically said that an epidemic kinda came into the land and what he said it killed the, the king's um lineage or something like that, right? And so um, it's just the, the rulers of this country right now are just a bunch of councilmen. And right now, at the moment, Amelia is the one who's next in line to become ruler of the country. So, is Felt, is Felt supposed to be like, um, you know, like a long lost royalty kind of thing? You, you know, like, is she, is she one of the ones that probably supposedly perished in the epidemic, but she's actually still alive? And maybe when Reinhardt saw the the the, the insignia in her hand, maybe it just struck a chord. Maybe he was he was just like, "Oh my goodness, I think she's supposed to be the the next ruler." I don't know, or something. I don't know. Again, guys, it's, I'm just thinking aloud, so no spoilers. It's just something that was just going through my head because it just kind of it kind of fits together. But I could be wrong, you know. It's, but that is interesting. But you know, let, let's go ahead and resume. I'm starting to like this mansion. Hire me to work here. Oh. oh. That's... <laughs> this is the VIP room. This is the bathing room. This is the kitchen. And this is the lavatory. In a mansion like this, I bet the restroom is freaking okay, huge. Okay, man, you're looking good. Oh, I love your fur. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell a soul about this. The feel of that fur would make anyone... Ah! 
<laughs> Ow, come on now, let me finish you little. <laughs> what? You just witnessed Miss Beatrice's door crossing. Oh, really? And once Miss Beatrice has eliminated her presence, <clears throat> there's no way to find her without trying every door. Damn. She's in here. <laughs> Wow. Impressive, Subaru. All right, how did you pick the right door again? Look, yeah, I told you before, remember? I'm a flag crusher who makes game masters cry. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Tell me, how do you fit in around here anyway? Master Forbidden Roswell library. is the greatest magic user in the kingdom. He has many books that mustn't be seen by others. And Miss Beatrice has been contracted to protect them from prying eyes. Understand ah. now? Then go away! Bam. <laughs> You may get full marks for sewing, but you're still useless with a knife, Barusu. As always, you make such a lovely image when peeling vegetables, sister. Your bias is so blatant, it's almost comforting. I'd like a comment on my work, too, if you can muster one up. How about, I pity the farmer who grew those vegetables. Stop being so cruel, you're breaking my heart. You don't know how to handle it. <laughs> he keeps cutting himself. <laughs> How has Subaru been since he started working? <laughs> Five days have passed since his arrival. Shouldn't we be seeing something by now? Cooking, laundry, cleaning. He's useless at all of them. How very harsh of you. And what are the chances he's a spy? I can't deny that such potential exists, but I think the possibility is slim at best. Because for better or for worse, for worse in this case in particular, he's too conspicuous. And if he's too conspicuous, then... Well, despite the odds of that possibility, he certainly is carefree, isn't he? Personally, as I see it, it would be wise to interfere with things. They're both only children. Even if we let them be, nothing will happen. Don't you think you're a bit lacking in ambition? Like that one time with Puck, and in the capital when you asked me for my name. You just don't get me at all, do you, Amelia? Mm, yeah. I want what I want at that exact moment, and I want it from the bottom of my heart. It's self-gratification in its purest form. Huh? Right then, I wanted to know your name more than anything. I had no expectations for tomorrow. I was simply trying to make it through the day. And on top of that, I was in a new land, nervous and so uncertain about my future. Looking back on it, there were probably other things I should have wanted. But I can't lie to myself about things like that. Same as the request I made to Roz, I'm flat broke right now. I could choose to cheat him out of a fortune and live it up, but I can just as easily obtain an ongoing source of livelihood, right? In that case, why didn't you simply choose to become a permanent guest rather than an employee? I never thought of that! Uh, I know you're working hard, but how did your hands get like that just by doing some household chores? This hand I cut with a kitchen knife. And the one on the other hand is from when I went to town in the evening to shop and a little animal some kids were playing with bit me. Damn. It wasn't the result of your labor efforts? Those kids were ruthless, hitting and kicking me and wiping their runny noses on me. Gotta say, it kinda sucked. I've got an idea. Wanna come with me tomorrow to get revenge on those little... I mean, to watch the kids and that small <laughs> animal play together? Get revenge. It's not as if I don't want to go out there with you. Fine then, let's go. But if... If I come along, it might end up causing a lot of trouble for you. Okay, understood. Let's go. Are you even listening to me? I am, I swear. I hang on every word you say, Mealy. Oh, I see. Fine, then. Because but only when I'm able to take a break from all of my studying because and everyone sure done for the day, okay? Thinks that she's this um Yeah, all right. This is going to be great. The other chick, <laughs> Tatella or whatever, right? <laughs> hopefully we hopefully we get to know a bit more about that. Crap! I can't sleep while I'm thinking about this! Oh, I know! <laughs> one puck to pad, two pucks to pad, <laughs> a hundred and one pucks to pad. Oh my gosh. A new dawn has come across the land, a dawn of hope! Subaru Natsuki is going to make great strides today! What are you two doing in here? This is so embarrassing, you should have said something! Sister, sister, I do believe that our guest appears to be a bit confused. What do you think? Rem, Rem, yes, I agree. It looks as though our guest has gone crazy. Hey, why are you <laughs> calling me a guest? <laughs> you two and your silly little jokes. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He reset it? The wounds. They're gone. Oh, my goodness. Just when we think we're out. <laughs> So he's resetting again, but he didn't die. So, so him resetting isn't triggered by him. 
Okay, so then he he did reset. The first time he met the um the chick that he called a lolly. <laughs> I forget I keep forgetting her name. The the with the the you know the big curly um hair. He um big curly pigtails. The first time he um he met her and she like she said she took his mind or whatever to see if he was an enemy or not and then just like z- zapped him and he just like fell out and he woke up back in the bed. I assume that they they just put him back in the bed because you know he had passed out and you know he woke back up the next day, but he had reset it then. I just wonder what's the factor? What's making him reset? Is it just every time he goes to sleep? <laughs> Is he goes to sleep? He 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 redoes the day again. So, but you know what? It's like. It's like he reached like a safe checkpoint. If this is a game, you know, if, if looking at it from a game's point of view, you know, like Subaru started in the world, and then like he every time he dies, he he kept going back to that market, right? But now that he got past that part, he's here. He's reached a safe a safe checkpoint. So now it would stand to reason that every time he resets, this is where he's going to reset at. But see, I wonder if that's true if he dies, too. Like, if he dies, would he reset here? Or would he reset all the way back to the beginning? That would be insane. <laughs> I would cry for him if, like, he died and he resets all the way back to the beginning. Like, so much progress gone. That's interesting. So now, and there were, like, uh, the the Orochimaru Kefka Hisoka guy. <laughs> he was asking on one of the, um, the maids, like you know, you know, how he was doing, like, to see if he was, like, a spy, so it looks like this country that they're in is probably at war, maybe, if he's asking if he's a spy, or maybe he was just because, like, we, we have no idea who he is, and he looks different from all the people in our country, so we're just, like, I think he could be a spy, you know, unless that's the reason why he was asking that, or is it just because, is it their country is at war or something, because the only thing I know so far about their country is, like, what, so it's, it's, it doesn't have a ruler right now, and Amelia is is next in line to become the ruler. But I guess in order to do her coronation, I guess she has to pass an exam or something because she says she had to she has to go study for it for some reason. But man, oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, this episode was um was pretty okay. It's it was I w- I won't lie, it was pretty just, in my opinion filled with a lot of here and there kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Just. Nothing really, in my in my opinion, significant. But then again, I, I feel like what this anime does, they'll give you these lighthearted episodes, and then they'll have an episode where these episodes were way significant. That's what I'm assuming. That's what this is like. So you know, like obviously, like these characters, you know, they're all flamboyant looking. You definitely gotta remember them, obviously. And like this, the ending of this episode, case in point, you know. So, I, so I do wonder though, why is he resetting though? Is there something he's supposed to do? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it gives me that. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for next episode. I, I, I can't wait to next episode because I want to see what the hell's going on. And again, guys, please no spoilers. But you know what? I think I will end the video here. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me a tremendous amount, guys. And if you have not already, why not subscribe? I do post Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. If you guys have any comments about this episode or about this series as a whole that are non-spoilery, post them below. I love reading your guys' comments. Also, if you have any suggestions on which section you react to next, post those below. And if something I have not seen, I'll take a look at it. Till next video, guys. I'm seeing nothing but mad love. Stay off. Oh.